How old's how old's he now? He's ten. He's ten. Yeah. Doing quite well actually. Still wants to carry his ball, but he doesn't like run after it very much anymore, so just likes the idea of it. It's amazing how they've become absolutely your partner, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, no, it's true actually. Because he was my son's dog, right? my son desperately wanted a dog. Yeah. And got him for his 11th birthday. And, um, but he does still look after him, but I, I've been the main person who takes him out and everything. So I've become really close to him. I'm always putting him in my paintings actually, but really I, I don't take him out with me painting because if he saw a fox or a cat, he'd just go zooming off. So. I didn't bother to tidy up, I just left the place like it is. Go on, Jay. When I bought the flat, the main thing I loved was this view and my son's bedroom has this view and I did really big paintings while he was at school. I just, all my paintings were like landscape shape of the view and it's really good from that window. But since he left school, which is obviously three years ago, he's 21 now. I can't really paint in his bedroom because he was self-employed and he's around quite a lot and he's changed everything around and everything. And that was when I thought, oh, I'm going to have to work on the stairs. Um, yeah, so three or four years ago. And I thought, how am I going to do it? And, and I've worked out, you can see all the paint marks, I've worked out the exact bigger size I can get away with. And so that's why they're all the same size, but I think that actually makes them look quite good. It's now a real series. Yeah, it's just a really amazing view. I mean, any time of year, I mean, particularly in the winter, because you can see right back all the houses and the bats of gardens. Um, I just find it really fascinating because it, it's really interesting what different people do in their gardens. In that garden, they're like feeding the foxes and everything. And in this garden, they're like putting traps out for the squirrels and they don't want any kind of little animals. And the trees, like sometimes they chopped a tree down actually last winter. So that really changed everything. Suddenly you can see different things. I never get tired of it. I quite enjoy the fact that there are limitations. Like I have to think to myself, I can't do that one today because there's too many people coming in and out. So I have to go to Mount Street or wherever.
So this, this is my spot. This is where I've been painting. So I always have to, like I remember that this is my spot because I remember this kept poking in my face. <laughs> so, and I remember that tree root. I like to feel that I'm kind of portraying the essence of an area as well. Like, sounds a bit pretentious, but like when I go to a place, I look at all the things that go on and I think, oh, a bus always goes past this. That's part of it. It shows it's in London and it's part, you know, the people from the bus see the the nice garden, it's all telling the story. And in fact, often I look at my pens and I remember how great I felt doing it. I mean, it is incredibly therapeutic, you know, painting flowers and stuff. I think a lot of painters are really good at painting from photographs. But I just, when I paint from a photograph, I'm bored and it shows. I just, I don't do it very well. And if I'm in front of something, for some reason I just get really excited by it, I enjoy being there, and all that goes into the painting. And sometimes also get annoyed and nervous, and I think all that goes into it. Morning. Nearly, uh, this is this side? No. Over there. Yeah. That side is full. Same, same, same. Jhar ke jaise ke jaise same. Beach wala. Aur ye ek teeda hai na? Dekho. Ye ek teeda hai na? Bada wala. Ye bhi dekho teeda hi hai bada wala. Huh? Friend. Is she? Is he? Wait, how friendly are they? Friendly? That's amazing. That's amazing. Wow. That is it. That is amazing. Stunning. What are those paints that you're using? Oil paints. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Oh, thank you. So do you draw it out first? Yeah. I'm sort of oh waiting for god. the sun to come out. It was really sunny when I started it. Oh, so. oh my god, yeah. the colours are insane. It's beautiful. Oh, thank you. How much one? Oh, I don't know. No? I haven't decided yet. <laughs> yeah. What is your name? Uh, Melissa Scott Miller. I can give you a card if you like. Yes, of course. A lady that I worked for saw it last time. She asked me about your name. Oh, right. Would you like to sell this one? Oh, uh, maybe. There was a lady who asked me who had two little dogs. W was it her? No. Oh, right. No, no. Oh, she said if I put the two little dogs in, she'd buy it, but... Ah, so she already bought it? Well, she hasn't already bought it. I'm going to be here tomorrow, She's anyway. She's interested. Okay, yeah. okay. Thank you very much. It's lovely. Oh, thank you. That's very really nice. And I always think... When eventually the place we lived for the longest, my bedroom looked out on back, backs of houses and back gardens and all brick, you know, lovely old brickwork. And I used to just stand and look at, out of the window for hours. And I used to, and I started to draw and paint the view out of the window from when I was really little. And I loved that view, you know, and I think that now I find it very comforting to paint. Like I feel like I'm at home if I'm painting back gardens and brick walls and everything. Like if I was really had my own way, I'd just be painting backs of houses. <laughs> but I kind of sometimes think I'd better paint something prettier, 
so that it will sell like the front of a house. <laughs> but no, I do like the fronts of houses as well. Yeah, <laughs> hope he does his business. So.